Wait a minute, did She-Hulk set up World War Hulk in Phase 5? Shut the front door. Where was Hulk in between Infinity War and Endgame? What would you like me to say? Let's discuss. It's okay with me. After a long wait, Marvel's She-Hulk recently debuted on Disney+, Plus, and right out of the gate we're treated to an episode almost entirely featuring Mark Ruffalo's Hulk. Marvel was wise to get us caught up on Bruce Banner so we could focus on Jennifer Walters. The dynamic between Jennifer Walters and Bruce Banner was well crafted and a delight to see. The chemistry between the two works really well and we hope to see more of this in future episodes. Right now! Marvel also answered the mystery of Shang-Chi's end credit scene, where Bruce Banner showed up in human form with his arm in a sling. How was he able to revert back? Well, as Bruce Banner put it, Because, you know, I made this little device which keeps me in human form. And that brings us to what is possibly the biggest and most dismissed Easter egg Marvel has presented yet. I gotta get to the bottom of that. Yep, that Sakarian ship that came out of nowhere and caused the car crash of Jennifer Walters and Bruce Banner, which in turn resulted in the origin of She-Hulk. Now don't hulk out as we quickly ask you to like, subscribe, and quack that Quack. notification bell. Otherwise, we're gonna bring up Tony and Bruce's bar. It's a good time during a hard time. Right, on to our Hulk baby daddy theory. So, when they finally get around to talking about the Sakarian Class 8 courier ship, Bruce just casually dismisses it. Is this a message from the Grand Master wanting him to come back for the contest of champions? That could be it, but highly doubtful as the last time we saw the Grand Master, he was being captured by citizens of Sakar. It can't have a revolution without somebody to overthrow. The more likely scenario is that Sakaar is in a war and they could really, really use the help of Gladiator Hulk. This is quite possible, however, we're not really leaning into this theory. The theory we're leaning into is that the Sakarian Class 8 courier ship was delivering a message to Bruce Banner to let him know that he has a son. A son named Scar. Scar from Sakar. Isn't that like naming a kid from Earth, Eartha? Anyways, you're probably asking yourself, who is Scar and what does he do? Who is your daddy and what does he do? And you're also probably asking yourself, did Hulk have time to have a baby? And if so, who with? Don't get angry, we have these answers for you. As you know, Marvel takes what they like from the comics and leaves what they don't, and combines them with other storylines. Sort of what we think they will do with Daredevil in the Netflix series. But that's a video for later. Anyways, the question here is when could Hulk have had a child? Well, there are two standout scenarios here. The most obvious one is that Hulk could have been with a woman, or more than one, on Sakaar during his gladiator years in Thor Ragnarok. The other is that he could have gone back to Sakaar any time between Infinity War and Endgame. Why do we think this? Well, in She-Hulk Episode 1, you can see Hulk's gladiator helmet in the background when Jen is walking through Hulk's house. See? Right there in the back when she's looking at the Iron Man helmet. Sneaky Marvel. Real sneaky. Making us focus on the Iron Man helmet and missing that Ragnarok one. Also, Bruce knowing exactly what kind of ship that was. Yeah, Sakaar and Class A courier craft. Makes us think he went back to Sakaar during this time. However, with his smarts, he could have just figured this out by talking to Valkyrie on Earth or any numerous ways. But with this bit of knowledge and his gladiator helmet sitting nicely in the house of Hulk, we're leaning towards him visiting Sakaar between Infinity War and Endgame. Okay, now let's get on to whose Hulk's son is in the comics. And how he could be the start or the cause of World War Hulk in the MCU's Phase 5. In the comics, Scar is the son of Hulk and Kyera. Kyera, carrying the unborn baby Hulk, died when the warp core of Hulk's ship exploded. But this wasn't the case as baby Hulk was actually in a cocoon and was born as a child instead of a baby. Cocoon boy! Later on, he lives in the savage lands of Sakaar and became somewhat of a savior to the people. This all came to an end when Galactus showed up hungry and destroyed Sakaar, sending Scar out into space and landing on Earth. He then meets up with his dad and the two Hulks duke it out. Remember when we said Marvel likes to combine the best storylines from the comics? Well, our theory is that they're going to combine the World War Hulk and the Son of Hulk storylines. When Hulk left Sakaar, he was seen as the revolutionary leader of the people, and maybe his son Scar detests him for abandoning them. Maybe Scar rose up in his father's place and became a leader on Sakaar, only to have Galactus show up and destroy the planet. With Scar being so mad at his father, it's reasonable to think that World War Hulk in the MCU will actually be about Scar on a rampage through Earth, instead of Bruce Banner, like in the comics. And it's up to Earth's mightiest heroes to stop him! This would be a great way for them to introduce and handle this storyline, and it looks like they're already laying the groundwork for it. This would be a great way to bring the MCU back down to <coughs> Earth, while raising the stakes. They could even use heroes such as Daredevil, Punisher, Hawkeye, and more through the storyline. And the final battle between Hulk and Scar would be filled with high intensity and emotions. Speaking of the Punisher, did you know we also have a video detailing Marvel's script for the new series? It sounds pretty great, and the link's in the description. This begs us to ask the question, if Marvel is certainly planning on merging the World War Hulk and Son of Hulk storylines, how long will this storyline spread throughout Phase 5? Will it go into Phase 6? Remember, they already have Secret Invasion which is going to be most likely a long story and report reportedly spread throughout Disney Plus shows and MCU films. Let us know your thoughts in the comments if you think they're going to do this and how long it could be. We do read all of them. 
Also, be sure to check out our video on why John Watts left the Fantastic Four. It's an exclusive from our source at Marvel, and if you're liking our videos, please make sure to check out our news and exclusives playlist. And like, subscribe, and quack that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and see you next time!